that hole closes quick. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 You got it. Yes. Um, That's very quick, especially in the NFL. You know, everyone's fast. You know, everyone's physical. So you want to get there as fast as you can because you're only going to have about a second or two. To get through. Yeah, to get through. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. How much has it been an adjustment for you to that speed, though, to get through that hole quicker and find it, recognize it quicker? Um, I feel like it's been a little bit of an uh, adjustment for me, you know, definitely, you know, just getting used to the speed of the game. Like I said, everyone's here is a lot faster or whatever. But like I said, what helps me out is I already have speed. So um, I'm able to get there quick. But like I said, um, just getting adjusted to the speed of the game probably. How much do you know though, before the snap what you're looking for? Because obviously you know what the play call is, you know what the zone blocking mm-hmm. scheme is. Oh, you got to know, a, you gotta know a lot pre, okay. pre-snap. That's one of the biggest things I've learned um, come to NFL is uh, all your uh, pre-snap reads, you know, where the safeties are, mm-hmm. the linebackers, defensive line, and, um, you know, definitely what leverage they have is going to probably – uh, most likely to determine where you're going to run the ball. The one thing, too, that we heard Kyle Shanahan just say, the one thing with the run game in the last game, it could be one step mm-hmm. that can mess up the whole thing. Yes. I mean, how much did you adjust to that or just seeing that? Like, you know, I think in college games, a lot of uh-huh. natural talent can overcome mm-hmm. errors, which wouldn't normally be an error. Mm-hmm. But here, how much have you seen then? Oh, I've seen it a ton of time. You know, if the running back's off a little bit, it's going to cause offensive line to be off on their block. If the offensive line's off, it's going to cause the running backs to be off. So we both got to be in sync. And, you know, I feel like uh, each week we're getting better at that. Yeah, do you feel like you've been in a perfect sync yet? Is there a uh, nah, with you? nah, not nah, yet. Not, not yet. Uh, we're still working on it. But like I said, each week we're getting better and better. So uh, we're, we're striving for perfect, though. So. And, and Kyle said that he has a planned preseason rotation, which is why you didn't play last week. And mm-hmm. Joe didn't see that much time. Do you feel yeah. that this week is going to be a chance for you guys to all get on that same page? Oh, yes, yeah. most definitely. You know, I feel like we're all going to get a lot more playing time this week. And, uh, you know, show everyone what we can do. Cool. What do you do on special teams? What's your main role? Do you have a special team? Yes, I will. I'm on all of them. Yeah, so, okay. yeah, I'm on all the special teams. Okay. So. What, with your speed, what particular? Um, definitely uh, kick off, like kickoff return, I'm back deep, whatever, catching kicks or whatever. Um, on punt, they got me at uh, the personal protector. Uh, punt return, I'm in the inside. Um, what else? I'm on all of them, so, yeah. Okay, I knew you were on somebody. Wasn't very sure. Okay. Like, How much did you do in college for special teams? Um, my freshman year, I did them all. Uh, I did them all my freshman year. Uh, I didn't get registered, so I played all special teams. And then uh, my sophomore and junior year, um, I didn't play that much due to my shoulder or whatever. I had to get shoulder surgery in college, so they kept me mainly on, uh, mainly on offense. And then towards my senior year, I started playing more kickoff return and starting to get more involved in special teams. So uh, I love special teams, so it's part of the game. And I guess when you come in here as an undrafted guy, you know that that's probably oh, yeah. your, your ticket. How, oh, yeah. how do you kind of adjust your mindset to making that a priority maybe rather than a, a secondary thing? I mean, you know, I've done it my whole life. You know, it's part of football, special teams. And um, like, like you said, whether you're undrafted or even if you're drafted, you're, if you're a rookie, you're going to play special teams. So uh, that's always been my mindset, and, you know, I enjoy special teams. So I have no problem with it. There are a few guys in this locker room, guys like Dakota Watson, who have made careers of, of special teams. Do you do you seek those guys out for advice? Do you, do you, do you talk to them at all about Oh, yes, most that? definitely, because any little edge you can get in this league to help you make a team and help you be better than your opponent, you know, it's it's more than welcome. So I always go try to go to those guys, pick their brains, and try to get the best knowledge I can. What's the, what's the best piece of advice you've gotten from one of those guys? So um, definitely just play hard, fast, and physical. And uh, no matter what, even if you mess up, just go fast. Is, is it a different mindset playing special teams than, than, than offense? It seems like you have to have a little bit of... Oh, know, yeah, you got to have a little bit of nasty in you. Yeah. Uh, that's what our coaches always say. You always got to have a little bit of nasty. So um, definitely, you know, you want to go out there and, you know, like I said, be physical and fast every play.